In this video, let's take a look at creating scenes for an animation. SketchUp creates keyframe animations. What we have to do is create scenes, and SketchUp automatically figures out the transition between each scene. We'll start with the overall scene that we have created here, and we'll walk through into the foyer, into the living room, turn around, and then look down from the staircase into the living room. Let's first take the position camera tool and click right on the entryway there. This tool places the camera position right at eye level at that location. Now the overall scene was saved at 30 degrees for the field of view. Remember you can press Z for zoom and then type in 60 and enter to change your field of view. Let's now add this as a scene and let's rename this entry. Next, let's walk. We'll walk forward by click and dragging. And then we'll turn just a little bit right there. And then we'll add this as a scene. Our next scene, we want to look back on the living room. So let's position the camera right about there. And this is a good shot of the living room. So we'll add that as a scene. Now notice when I click back on scene five, SketchUp forces us to walk through the wall. Sometimes you'll have to add an additional scene by saving a new location to force SketchUp to rotate in the correct direction. So let's add this as a scene. And now if we go back to the entry, click on scene five, and then scene seven. There it goes through the wall a little bit, so we may have to zoom in a little bit. Update that, and just click back and then forward. Still going through a little bit, so we'll zoom in a little bit more. That's much better. It's kind of cool, it's going around the bar in the pipe shelf. And then scene six. And then the last scene, let's try and go up to the staircase here. Something like that there. We'll add that as a scene. And just to test it, we'll go back to scene six. We're going through the stairs just a little bit, so we're gonna have to zoom above, maybe come in a little bit closer and update that. And even this scene, we could move over just a little bit, update it. A little bit more starting to lose some of the railing, so I want to get that back. That's pretty close. Now let's just go backwards just to make sure. And then we'll go forward. That's bothering me a little bit, so let's move that up. And try updating it again. There we go. That's covering that piece of artwork just a little bit. So let's move up just a little bit. Let's see if that works. Just up a little bit more. Let's look down even a little bit more. That's pretty close. You can adjust this as long as you want. There we go, that looks pretty good. So once you have all these scenes saved, you can export them out as an animation, which we'll cover in the next chapter. 
for right now, we're going to look at some other tools, specifically the section tool to create interior elevations and sections.